Hello, welcome to a tutorial on how to translate your Divi Body Commerce pages um, using WPML. So here we go, just going to jump straight into it. So uh, we have a product page that I've created in English uh, and I'm going to be translated into French. So here's my product page and you can see I'm in English. If I go to France, to French, France, if I go to a French language or it could be any other language, uh, the page is blank because currently there is no translation for this page. Okay, so just to show you, we have um, this product page over here created. And as you can see, it needs to be added. I need to add a translation for French. I've already done the shop page. As a, as a, just for, I was just testing before to make sure I knew what I was talking about. So we have this product page. And in our settings, we have in body commerce settings, we have it selected as the main product page template, which works in English, but not French. So here we go. So the thing you need to do is to go in and edit the product page, like I'm doing here. And in this uh, product page template that, you, uh, that you've assigned, you need to create a duplicate in the other language, so French. So what you want to do is, um, I haven't really tested this bit, but from speaking to my customers and stuff, this kind of side, this using the, the their edit, translator editor doesn't work. So what you want to do is to hover over the flag and click the other language, so French, and this will create a duplicate of the template for you to then, uh, you know, change the translation. So I've done the duplicate currently nothing's on there so it looks a bit odd to me so what you want to do is you want to come over to the right hand side and click copy content from english so i'm going to click that and it will copy all the content across there we have the divi builder uh like short codes has the product page uh, name you can change that if you want to change that but i'm just going to leave it to leave it like that and then click publish and then once it's published it will bring up the divi builder as you know now currently this has been translated so let me go back onto the front end reload my page in English and then uh, so that's in English now and then let me try let me change the language to be French and let's see what happens now okay so now we have the page translated in French uh, now the only issue is the add to basket button is not in French that's in English so I'm just going to do a bit of a French to English translation. What's add to basket? So I'm working on two screens. So what's add to basket? Okay, I can't even pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Sorry, I'm from South Africa, so I've never learned French. <laughs> so it's a bit tricky for me to try and pronounce French. Um, so we are editing this layout, this product page. We're in the French translation. All our modules now have changed to the French, uh, the French language, which is uh, due to our translation. Thanks to everybody's help to that. And here we're going to have in our settings we have this button uh, text. So I want to change that to be the French one. I'm just going to. I don't know whether this is. It looks odd with a capital A. I'm just going to do it like that. So that should change the translation of the French button um, because in our settings you can specify the exact language or the exact words you want for the button. So because we specified it in English, therefore it will be English. So here we go. We have it as um, French and English. And then if I switch to English, it will change back to the English language. There we go. So that is how you translate a page with Divi Body Commerce. Uh, then further along, there's there's um, other string translation, which you can translate different strings uh, in our in our website. So you, in your website, so things that are not directly related to the layouts, uh, such as the mini carts or other aspects, the, the custom checkout pages, uh, you can translate it with the string translation. Uh, in WPML. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, any questions, please get in touch. But uh, yeah, uh, this is how you do it. And I hope you have a great day and happy uh, 
building websites like in different languages i think it's a great thing to do and uh, i wish you all the best uh, for this coming year